Hey folks, welcome back. This video is going to be an extension from your Altrix predictive analysis that we discussed in the last uh, video. In this video, we're just going to uh, extract the output from your linear regression model and analyze the output, find the error rate in the output using the score model. Right. In the previous analysis, the previous video, what we had, uh, we just took the whole model and we went in depth of the regression analysis, what is your residual plots, how to uh, find your R square, how to interpret your p-value and all of that. So if you're looking for a detailed analysis, please go check the other video that I put. Uh, this video is going to be, it's going to take you a step further in terms of extracting the output from that linear model and then analyzing that output and finding the error value. Right. Let's get it started. So what you see on the screen is basically what is you will be building in terms of uh, you know pulling the uh, data from your linear regression model and analyzing it. So all that I have is basically I have my I have my input tool, uh, which is the same input that I've connected in my previous video also using the bostonhousing.csv. The link is in the description video description. So if you see here, it has around 500 records. So it has 14 columns. Um, similarly, uh, let's first talk about the first uh, flow and then I'll come back to the second one. Uh, what I'm doing here is basically I'm extracting the input and I'm just doing some transformations using the select tool. So I don't need any of these. So I'm just going to uncheck all of these. Uh, I just need my LSTAT, which is going to be my uh, explanatory variable. And then I'm going to use my MEDV, which is going to be my predicted variable. Basically, my input variable is LSTAT and my output variable is MEDV, right? So why I'm doing this because I'm reading from a CSV file all the columns are all read as uh, text right so but linear regression is basically a, a continuous uh, uh, variable analysis so in this one I just need to you know change the variable type into a continuous vari variable like a numeric or a decimal uh, something like that so that's what I, that's why I'm doing it so I don't want these things these other columns because I'm not going to be using it at this point so I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck them I don't uh, want to you know increase uh, memory processing um, so that's I have here and then I when I go with my linear regression so I have my uh, target variable uh, set as my MEDV right and my predicted uh, predictor uh, sorry my explanatory variable is going to be my uh, LSTAT right so target is MEDV and predictor is going to be LSTAT right clean and now what we're doing here is basically in the score model uh, we just need to name that uh, give a name for this uh, output va value that you're going to be predicting so i'm just going to say predicted medv uh, remember before that uh, when you connect your uh, linear regression model to your score model you'll always connect your o value which is the output to your uh, d input in your score model why is that so what is this r and i so r is basically a report so we discussed a detail about the R and I in the other video, right? So uh, take a look into that video uh, to understand more about what you can find in your R and I. This video is going to be focusing into the output from your O, which is basically your actual data output, right? Um, and then coming back to the score model, we again have the, you know, you can choose a model type, local model. This is what I'm doing here is a local model. So Altrix also has their uh, codeless deployment uh, system, right? So if you if you have license to that, you can use your Altrix promote model. Uh, in this one, I'm just going to take it easy and you know get the local model. It's the same thing. Um, okay. So I have my uh, field name for my predicted output. So that's going to be predicted underscore MEDV. Um, and then I uh, have a bunch of different options here. Uh, target field has an oversample value. So if you have a oversample value in your target field, you can check this and you will say how what is the percentage of oversample value uh, in the original data prior to the oversampling, right? So that you can uh, choose, but in this case, I'm not going to choose that because there isn't a uh, you know, oversample value. So, and then next one, what you have is your target field has been natural log transformed. So this is basically when uh, sometimes if you have your uh, uh, regression metrics like R square values all uh, not as expected or not as needed. So you will do uh, your uh, logarithmic transformations uh, on your uh, variables, right? So if you have do, uh, done that, so you just need to ch check this box. So in this case, I'm not doing any of that. So I'm just going to uncheck it, keep it simple. The next one, I'm what I'm doing is include a prediction confidence interval. So, which is going to say what is your lower limit of your confidence interval, what is the upper limit of your confidence interval, and then it's also going to show you the output of is also going to show you the 
uh, predicted values right so along with the confidence interval so I'm just gonna say okay include the prediction confidence interval so I can adjust the confidence percentage of the prediction interval I can say uh, whatever but I'm just gonna choose 95 uh, which is a good one so let's choose 95 percent confidence interval and then it's also gonna have uh, different options like XTF input specific options so I'm just not I'm just gonna not, not select that because uh, I'm not going to you know append my input into my XTF file so take it easy and the next last one node you have is your uh, number of records to score at a time a default is 256,000 so I'm not gonna change that um, all right so once that has been configured let's now come back to the second flow that you have here so what is this flow you're already getting the input transforming the input uh, and then you're uh, doing your uh, regression on your input and input variable uh, uh, on your output variable and then you're passing it to your score model so what is this one right so this is basically a reference input which is basically uh, what I'm doing here is just co copying the same data that I have and I'm doing the same transformation that I did before you could see that here um, you la just like you see here it, it has uh, LSTAT and MEDV is float and float and then similarly if I go here it should again be float and float and I'm also gonna uncheck all of these I just forgot to do that so let's just go ahead and uncheck that yep perfect right so same same input same transformation I'm just gonna pass it as a reference right clean so now my score model is completely configured so what is this formula tool here after the score model what is that doing like I mentioned I wanted to show you how to calculate the error right what is the error the difference between your predicted output versus your actual output value right predicted versus your actuals so if I go here that's exactly what I'm doing here so I have my predicted MEDV score from you coming from your score model and then uh, my MEDV score coming from my data right so I'm just gonna get the difference of that give a name for the new column name called as error and then uh, this is an example of the data preview right and the data type is gonna be float again uh, all right and then I've connected my browse tool to it to show you the output so that's all set right now so the model is ready to go and then I'm just gonna fire up this model right now so hit the run button <laughs> all right so the output is ready here so i'm just gonna go through the browse tool and show you the output so let me yeah let me just expand it a little bit all right so what you see here is basically uh it's just gonna show your uh, input variable your your basically your predictor variable your target variable and then your predicted or estimated target variable right so this is your predictions for your medv right and then it also shows the conference interval lower limit and upper limits for a given la line record line observation and it also shows the error right so let's first take a look in to see where the, each of these columns came from and then I go from there so what you have here is basically uh, the error the error is basically coming from your formula tool right so formula tool is where we configured that hey uh, create a new column so calling error this is going to be a difference between your MEDV and your predicted medium uh, MEDV fit right clean enough so you have your error column here and then uh, so all these other three outputs predicted MEDV fit lower confidence interval higher conf upper confidence interval, confidence interval it's all coming from your score model right and then you're again LSTAT and MEDV is coming from your input data clean enough so uh, yeah and that's what you have here basically so that's how you get your uh, uh, output from your uh, linear regression model uh, let me know if you have any questions on this uh, and then uh, if you like this video please give a thumbs up and then please also if you're looking to understand a detailed analysis of your linear regression analysis please take a look into my other video that I have in my cards above uh, and I'll see you guys in a different video thank you bye